it's Elise and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video talking about my Sweet Melody recreations that I've just done on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram or you haven't seen my Sweet Melody recreations, I'll pop them up on the screen, but please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Um, and I recently just recreated all four of the Little Mix Girls looks um, from the Sweet Melody video. Now, let's just start it off this way. Um, I love shopping online and I was browsing the Target website and I found a swimsuit that looked along the same lines of Jessie's Sweet Melody leotard. And I was like, firstly, I love the swimsuit. Secondly, I can turn that into Jessie's outfit. So that's exactly what I did. So this video is going to be me talking about my creation of a lot of the outfits because I made some pieces for my recreations, but then also I bought some things as well. So um, no, to answer any questions, I didn't film myself creating items, which now in hindsight I should have, um, but I am going to speak about how I created them and things like that. So we're gonna jump on in. I'm just gonna go grab the swimsuit because I just completely forgot that I needed it. We'll start with Jessie's look first because it is the simplest and I was just talking about the swimsuit anyway. So I was browsing Target online and I saw this swimsuit and I was like, um, we can turn that into Jessie's Sweet Melody look, right? So I bought two. This one is for swimming. Um, and then I made this one. So same thing, but I cut out the zipper, hot glued in a bra, um, all sorts of things like that. So that is my Jessie Sweet Melody look. So um, all I did, just to let you all know, is I cut off this zipper, opened it up, so this is all cut out. I extended this down just a little bit further and then hot glued a bra into it. That's basically all I did for this look. Um, so you can see here, okay, that's all it is. That's all I did is sew a black bra into it and then I just step into it and just wear it. That's all it is, nothing too special about that one. And that was the easiest one because all I had to do was cut a zipper out of a, a swimsuit, so. That was my Jessie look. Next, we'll talk about my Lee look. Now, my Lee look is the one that I had an injury with. Um, so if I was filming myself making the looks, we would have had a clip of me severely burning myself. <laughs> but luckily enough, there is no footage of that. Um, so if you don't know, I was creating my Lee look. I had just put up an Instagram post of like, I had finished. And then I was like, oh, Lee wears like knee pads, not thinking that you wouldn't be able to see the knee pads in there. I was like, oh, I'm gonna make the knee pads. Anyway, and I had just turned off my hot glue gun. So I like, went to go and turn it back on. And for some reason I yanked the cord out of the wall and the hot glue gun swung and it seared my knee because the, the nozzle was still hot, obviously. It seared my knee and my whole hot glue went all over my knee. And then I went to grab it because it swung and I went to grab it with my left hand and I grabbed it and I pulled the trigger and hot glue went all over my finger just here. Can't really see it anymore, but it was here. Here. I'll insert some pictures if you can't see, but that is how I ended up burning myself. Um, and I went into complete shock, had a full on panic attack. My mom thought I was dying, like it was a whole situation. Um, but luckily we're okay. We're here to tell the story and laugh about it now. Anyway, so for my Lee look, I went to Shein.com, not sponsored, but I got a little crop one-sided shirt. This one did have like a wrap situation. Um, and I thought that would be really good, but it wasn't. So I chopped it off. As you can see, I chopped it right off. <laughs> anyway, so I got this shirt and I just wore that and then I made the pants out of pajama pants. So um, these are the pants. Um, the, they are two pairs of silky black pajama pants. Okay, so the first ones I did, how do I explain this to you guys? So the first pair of pants I cut on the outside to open the leg up. And then the second pair of pants I, op I opened up on the inside of my leg, if that makes any sense to you guys. So they're open on this side and they're open on that side. Okay. Woo. So all I did was cut those and then I just hot glued them together like it's kind of a messy work. And then at the front, I attach some black ribbon, which black ribbon is a running theme here in this video, you'll see. Um, so I just attach some wide, silky black ribbon, which I then, I use the whole thing of it. I use that to like, 
<laughs> ribbon up my my torso so that is the pants that I created this is the one that I burnt myself with um, you would think it would be the jade look that I burnt myself with but no it was this look so lots of this stuff is hot glue couture because I don't sew I don't know how to sew I watch a lot of drag race and I see a lot of hot glue couture run down <laughs> that runway so I thought I'll be able to do it and I think I pulled it off pretty well so that was my Lee look and like I said I just wrapped my arms in black ribbon um, I had two sizes I had the wide one which I used to do that and then I had the thin one which I used more for the peri look up next I can see the jade look so the jade look is my favorite look I created, um, and mainly because I pretty much made the entire outfit, um, especially the pants. So I'll just run you through what I wore first. I wore a black bra, and then also on Shein I got a mesh um, bodysuit, just simple mesh bodysuit. I didn't know it had this at the bottom. Jade had mesh gloves as well, but didn't really want to wear mesh gloves. And then my pants, they look like so. How do I explain this to you guys? Now, please keep in mind, um, I'm a bit of a messy, especially when I made these pants, I already had had my injury from my hot glue. So I was a bit petrified of hot glue. So this one's very messy, hot glue couture because I was petrified of getting burnt again. So there's like blobs of glue everywhere, but you couldn't really see on the photo. So thank God. But this is my jade pants. All right. So I just got, Went to Kmart and I bought the cheapest pair of black underwear I could that weren't a G-string because jades were like, have a look at my ass, you know, whereas I'm like, I'm modest and I'm like, please cover my entire body. Thank you. <laughs> um, and then all I did was I had a pair of cargo pants that I had worn to a Cartier meet and greet in 2019. Yeah. Also wore them in my TikTok when I did the Jade Sweet Melody dance and I wore a black and white leotard, uh, like bodysuit. And when I did that dance, I broke the button. <laughs> so they were already broken. I was like, oh my God, they'll be perfect for Jade's actual look. So what I did, you can, also I put the picture of my Cartier meet and greet so you kind of see the pant. But basically all I did was I chopped, they're a misguided cargo pants if you're wondering what, exactly what they are. So I cut the waistband right off the pants. And then I used heaps of that black ribbon that I was talking about to attach this. So this went in like this, kept the buttons on. Jade didn't have silver buttons, but we we're just kind of working with it, you know? That went like that around me. And then we had the underwear. Okay, these are actual underwear, not ones I've actually worn, ones I specifically bought for this outfit. Then I had, I bought a pack of five key rings use those key rings on here little loops again with black ribbon and then they went down into the bottom of the pants so i cut out the middle section of the pants so yeah I, I kept the band cut the middle section out and then i just kept the lower part from about my knee um yeah they're inside out at the moment because i was wearing them i also these were a last like had elastic in the bottom of the pants I pulled the elastic out so they would be open, so they would go over my shoe that I was wearing. So yeah, I'll put the picture so you guys can see, but you can kind of see the gist. I used heaps of ribbon to attach it like this. Now, the this isn't wasn't my original idea. Originally, I had bought this from AliExpress, I believe. This sort of situation, but it doesn't fit. These could have worked for me, but by the time these shipped to me, I had already made this, so didn't really need those. So I do have those just in case, some situation I might need them. So, so these are my pants and I like prize possession because I'm very proud of my creativity, my hot glue couture. I'm very happy with the way they turned out. Of course I'm putting pictures up, but of course they are, they are not by any means ready for the runway, you know what I mean? There's hot glue everywhere over it like um then jade also had like this harness thing on um but i actually bought the original one she was wearing namilla namilla harness um thank god for little mix style blog otherwise i would have no idea where to get a harness kind of like this um but jade had this taken out obviously for they don't want to promote brands in their music video unless they're getting paid for it <laughs> um so that's that so it has like this little like cargo like phone pocket and some more hooks and rings and stuff like that which is super cool so i love that and little strappies and things like that so 
that's it. Um, and then for Jade's hair, I used, well, I'm wearing a Zala ponytail extension at the moment, but this is real human hair. Um, and for the Jade look, I bought two synthetic ponytails. Um, they're basically what I'm wearing at the moment. Um, except the bit that wraps around my head, where the piggy tails were, I braided those just to pay homage to Jade's braids without actually having braids on my head. So I had two giant, these are 26 inch ponytails on my head like this. They're super cool. So I bought those. I get all of my extensions from Zala Hair Extensions. This is not paid to say this. I just really love the company and I've always had a great experience with this company. Um, so And they're Australian as well. So I highly recommend this company if you're ever looking for a hair extension or a clip-in hair extension or a ponytail or a halo. Um, or just hair care in general. Zala hair extensions are my absolute favorite. Love those. So this is my human hair extension, which is 22 inches, maybe. And then these are 26, so they're quite long. So that's what I did for the Jade look. Now, Perry's look was the simplest to do because I had a lot of her pieces that she was wearing. I just bought them. So start with a piece that wasn't the actual pieces she was wearing i just went on to pretty little thing and i just typed in windbreaker pant and these plt sport pants came up and i was like they'll do i got the biggest size they offered so they would be a little bit baggy and they did the job perfectly for me um i just tucked in this little doodad here stunning so yeah and then i just covered that over not really hard at all. So those were my windbreaker pants. And then she was wearing a pretty much a whole windbreaker outfit. So she was wearing this windbreaker bra situation. So this is from the brand TLZ Femme, I believe. TLZ Femme is the brand. And this is exactly what she was wearing. So it was this little bra number. Ooh. And it's just windbreaker like there's no padding nothing in it my boobs were so big that i broke the stitching in here but you know that's just my situation no one else's problem <laughs> and then she also by the same brand was wearing i believe the pants were from there as well but they were sold out um but then she also had this jacket on which has like these strappy straps and it's super cool like i'm never ever going to wear it again unless i'm going to dress as perry again but it's just super cool to have like a piece that Perry wore in the video you know what I mean and again shout out to Little Mix Style Blog because without them I wouldn't be able to find the actual things they wore but it's just so cool and again this is windbreaker material as well so it's just a little crop jacket and it's super cool and then of course I just use I have bought so much black ribbon you have no idea and I just tucked it in my pants because Perry had a lot of this situation yeah so i had so much black ribbon i still have so much black ribbon right lying around the house so if anyone has a birthday everything's got to be wrapped in black ribbon <laughs> um but yeah this is the thin black ribbon i was talking about um and then for perry's hair um she was wearing a wig so i also bought a wig and i just now have to go get it off my shelf so one second please so perry's hair i bought this wig now it was only just this light blonde color it didn't have any of the root the rootage in it um i added that myself so this is the wig, it was already here. With, it's not a lace front wig or anything because it does have bangs on it or a fringe. Um, and then it was already curled in the style of Perry's hair and I was like, I can just add color to that. So this wig is from Etsy. I'll leave the seller down below. And then all I did was take this L'Oreal Instant Root Concealer Spray in dark brown and just stand back, just spray it where Perry had darkness in her hair, which was pretty much just the top and the like, streaks of it in the on the underside of her hair so yeah and i actually kind of love the way this looks on my head i'm not gonna lie um so i really thoroughly enjoy and of course i have a wig collection so this was another one to just pop on the shelf so i just think it's so stunning and the way that it was already styled in perry's like length style fringe it was perfect so yes and it's really good quality as well highly recommend it smells good so it's just fantastic it's, of course it's got the fastener strapped in it as well so you can attach it to your head the way you're supposed to um and i just love it it's everything it's 
probably my favorite piece that I bought for the entire thing. And then my favorite thing I made was my jade pants, so. And then basically all I did for their makeup was just do a neutral look because the girls are all pretty much wearing just neutral look with just a bit of eyeliner. Um, but I do my neutral look where it's a lot of matte colors. And then I do this like glitter in the crease situation. Um, that's just my go-to neutral look because I can't do anything without glitter on it. <laughs> so that was what my Sweet Melody recreations were like. So yeah, if you're not following me on my Instagram, that's where I always post my recreations when I do them. Um, but I also just want to take the time now to talk about some backlash. Um, so a lot of people were giving me a hard time on the internet making fun of me for recreating the girls' looks. I don't understand why that was. I mean... I like, I was just, I'm a person who loves Little Mix and for me, I like to recreate the girls' looks. I'm not going out in public pretending I'm Perry Edwards and I'm not going out in public pretending I'm Jessie Nelson. I stand in my room, I recreate their looks, I take a photo, I take it right off. So for people to think like, oh my gosh, she thinks she's in Little Mix, nah, 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 nah. oh my gosh, she's done it again, ew, look how ugly, uh. like, it's something I really enjoy doing and I've done it a lot, like my bounce back looks and I recreate a lot of Jessie looks and... I just love recreating looks. I think it's really fun and it's something I enjoy doing and I'm not going to stop. But there was a second there where I wasn't going to post my last look because I was getting so annoyed with how people were treating me and making fun of me. Um, and it was really tough and hard. And like, yeah, I don't know. But then there was so much love as well, which I absolutely love. So thank you so much for being supportive if you were being supportive. Um, so, but yeah, and then, you know, I had Leanne like the look that I made of hers and then Jade put me on her story and oh, it was so lovely and I appreciate so much. Um, so it kind of made a full circle from not going to post Jade's look at all to Jade seeing the look and putting it on her story, which was absolutely incredible. Like, holy shit, how the hell? But yeah, I just wanted to make sure that everyone knows, like, I'm not pretending I'm in Little Mix. Everyone knows that I love Little Mix. I They're my style icons, but I'm not going to go out in public and I'm not going to be wearing my Perry wig with my per entire Perry ensemble. If everyone think I'm Perry. Like, mm, no. Um... Maybe if I was going to a Little Mix concert, I might dress like that. But I'm not going to go down to local shops dressed like that. You know what I mean? Anyway. <laughs> but here we are. We pushed through it. I love the way they all turned out. And I hope you guys too. And if you don't follow me on all my social medias, please do. Especially Instagram. That's where I'm always the most active. And um, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>